Uh, Ian, I wanted to talk to you about something you went viral. Shout out to Spirit <laughs> the Word. Oh my God. Um, Shout out to the good folks over there. Well, you said um, 100 to 200,000 is no real money. You would, yeah. you, you won't feel secure until you have 600,000 to a million tucked away. Um, what do you, what do you, what does this mean? And um, why do you think that that was so triggering for a lot of people? And um, can you explain what you, what you meant by that? I'm not trying to be a villain no more in 2024. Mike, put, put us back in the screen. I need some good favors <laughs> before we want to go to Davos. <laughs> We're a team. Okay. Um, my job is to tell the truth no matter what. So, like, I know some people got bothered by it. And every time I post this, people get upset. Um, but the truth is, like, if you're taking care of people, like, and if we just look at elderly care, if you ever had a family member that had assisted living that was an elder, for those of you who don't know, it ranges from 6000 a month to 20000 a month, right? If you have a kid that goes to college, those expenses are there. And especially, I feel like as soon as we began to invest in real estate, crypto, stock market, we began to have these conversations at scale. All of a sudden, inflation ramped up to a level that we could not keep up with. So my job as a truth teller is, even if it's not the popular thing to say, I would rather you know how much money that you need to have in, in order to feel secure opposed to, and some of you told me this, Hey, as soon as I got to a hundred grand saved, now the value of my dollars dropped and the hundred grand doesn't feel, or the 50 grand or the 20 grand doesn't feel like that. So I don't, maybe people get triggered by it because it feels like as soon as you make headway, they change the rules. But this is why it's important for us to have these conversations on a weekly for you guys to invest every week, every month. So we know the rules are going to change for us, but I would rather us be prepared about what things really cost. Once again, Ross told you in an interview on AOL, if he had how much money, he would be terrified. 10. 10 million, he would be Ten. worried. Yeah. I, I'm so beyond the conversations with... that we get to have privately. Yeah. I'm just reporting the information back to you. Um, and also telling you, like, for some people I also know when they made their first hundred grand. I've had people tell me like, yo, I thought this would feel like a lot more and it's not. So if you're actually taking care of your family, taking care of your kids, you're looking out for other friends, loaning friends out money when they need it. A hundred grand isn't what it used to be. It's my last one. I swear to God. But, but is it, I'm gonna be honest. When I, when I read that, I, I initially thought a hundred, somebody making a hundred to 200,000. I'm like, oh, all right. Is that no real money? Okay. And then now that you're saying that's saved, I, would you say that making the or saving that first hundred thousand is the hardest? Absolutely, right. That's the most challenging. Yeah, ten grand, and then after the leap from ten to a hundred, like one of the hardest. That is things. the hardest leap that you have to make. Yeah. But as a man, if you have family, you have children, you have to be able to get to a place where your family has some security, and it takes sacrifice. It takes sacrifice. And I would rather tell you that. And if prices have of homes have went up, like there's no new cars available for under 40 grand. Regular cars are now 40 grand. So if homes are increasing, price of chips are increasing, price of college tuition is increasing. What do you want me to do? Lie to you? I'm sorry. It is and it's jarring to me. So even where I'm at now, the conversations that we get to have. It's like, yo, if you don't get to 100 in your lifetime or 200 million in your lifetime, you wasted your talent. All oh, this, you the greatest investor. <laughs> Sound good. How fast are you going to get to 100 to be able to help other people? These are, I'm having these tough conversations too with people that I'm learning from and people in my circle. Like, and as soon as we begin to have these conversations, yes, it's jarring, but I would rather tell you what you need to do to be able to be financially free and provide some security to you and your family and your business. Cause you may have to help out other people. You may have to help other people in other businesses. You never know. Uh, I know a lot of times on IG, it looks like everybody rich as hell. I'm going to be honest with you. Most people are not, most people are struggling. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that because I've been there before. I, I know what, I know what that feeling is like to, to get to that, 
first 10,000, it's like, oh, can you do it? But it really yep. was a mindset thing, right? Like I'm changing my zero every time, right? It was like, if I can save 5,000, now 5,000 is my zero. If I get to five, I can't touch it, right? Then it becomes 10. If, if I mm -hmm. get 10,000 in the account, I'm at zero. I can't touch it. And you just keep with that financial discipline. <laughs> but when, you, push when, you, when you get to that 100, it's like, okay, I've actually done something here. I've done something yeah. that the average person hasn't done, which says that I have a certain level of financial discipline, but it also says that I'm willing to sacrifice at a certain level to get here. Now, what do I do here? Is the 100,000 my new zero, right? And so you can build from that. Plus, you're able to take more, not chances, but you have capital to now invest. Invest, yeah. Now, help that money grow. And so it, it changes. The 100,000, again, it's the hardest thing to do, but it opens the door for opportunities to now grow that 100,000. Yeah. And when I made my first hundred grand, you know what I didn't do? I ain't buy no Balenciaga. I ain't buy no rims. I didn't got right back to even Shannon Sharp. When despite the number 30 million in four days, he got right back up. This is we were talking about in Ghana, right? Just getting up and going to work every day. A lot of luck happens just doing things that you're supposed to do, even when you don't want to do them. So even after that blockbuster interview that he had, he was on air this morning. So when you get to that next level, your job is to continue doing what got you there and then even be more efficient, put more money into the market, invest in more businesses. You have to be more diligent because when now this is the tough part when for those you are trying to get to 100. Now, everyone has a thing for you to invest in or a way to pry money out of you. You have to be an even better steward of the money as you grow. But that's sure. the fun part of the game. Is to, to put together a blueprint, a plan, a playbook, and stick to it so you can provide for your family. If I made you money, please put yes in chat. That's a fact.